The next elections in Israel, which now are likely to be in early April, are basically going to be a battle within the right wing in Israel. In other words, how far ahead the Netanyahu's Likud party will come out and how much power he will have in the next multi-party coalition government. The left wing in Israel, unlike in the rest of the world, is not a socioeconomic left wing. The number one issue in Israeli politics is security, and the left over the last decade or two has hitched its platform much more to a land for peace security formula, which today with Hamas and Hezbollah and so forth is not a platform that can win a lot of votes in Israel. Mm -hmm. The current government in Israel is a very thin majority of 61 out of 120. In other words, it has a difficult time functioning and it has already been in power for almost four years, which means elections were inevitable and everyone knew that they were coming. The only thing that happened today is that all of the members in the current majority decided that they can no longer govern like this, that they know an election is a few months away inevitably. So they're going to bring the elections up and they will be held in April instead of by November, six months later, when they would have had to be. Netanyahu will more likely than not face an indictment in the next months, probably after the April elections. Now, any member of the Israeli parliament that the attorney general decides to indict, they must resign their office, um, including sitting cabinet members. The only member of the entire Israeli parliament that does not have to resign is the prime minister, because by law in Israel, if the prime minister resigns, the entire cabinet, the entire government collapses. And we don't want to bring down an entire government because of legal proceedings.